Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Medio. In this video, we are going to join one virtual machine computer to a domain controller. So previously we installed VirtualBox, we created two virtual machines, one of them client operating system installed Windows 10 and the other one we installed Server 2019. So the Server 2019 already promoted to a domain controller in the previous videos you can see and already both of them configured to use internal networking. So quickly to show you if under PC1 settings, we can see on the network here, internal network is selected and under advanced, allow all is selected, server the same. On the network, here we can see internal network selected, under advanced, allow all is selected. Okay, so both of them, they are using static IP address and both of them up and running. Let me show you here. So this is our Windows 10 and this is our server. And if I open up command prompt, so host name, PC1, who am I? We logged in using local account and IP config to see the IP address. So here we can see DHCP enabled, it's not enabled, it's using static IP address. And we are using this IP address as a static IP address class C 192.168.1.10 because this is Windows 10. We say, you know what, let's use 1.10 static IP address for this virtual machine. And for this one, CMD. Okay, so host name. This is our computer name. And who am I? We logged in using domain admin account. This is our domain controller name. It's already promoted to be a domain controller. And the key combination to go full screen, it's right side control plus F. It's going to the full screen. Let me open server manager on the server virtual machine. Here we can see tools, active directory users and computers, DNS already up and running. And um, okay, so let's exit from full screen. Going back to our client virtual machine, Windows 10. Okay, now let's see if we can uh, ping CMD ping 192.168.1.19 I'm pinging from Windows 10 pinging server and uh, what about by name ping server DC so it's using IP version 6 it's pinging and uh, let's uh, open up ncpa.cpl and uh, let's to be sure open up network adapter yeah, using static IP address and for the DNS, we can type 192.168.1.19 because this is the IP address of a server. 192.168.1.19 is the IP address of a VM server, server 2019. And it is a DNS server, it is a domain controller. So I'm using um, the IP address of a server as a DNS server here. So click OK, close, close and up arrow. One more time, minus four. Let's ping by IP version four. So we can see it is pinging. Okay, now how we can join this uh, virtual machine, Windows 10, to this domain controller. And uh, first we have to go to where we can change the computer name. So window break, and then change settings, and then change again. And then here typing the domain name. Let me cancel, cancel, cancel. Or we can just simply click start. Type this for the this PC. Right click properties. And then change settings. And change again. Type domain name. What is a domain name? So if we go to the server opening. Server manager. Let's close this one. Um, let me, let's go full screen. Control F. So I'm on a server, tools, active directory, users and computers, and domain name, payment tech media. That's our domain name. So let's close, close, control F, exit from full screen. So here, let's type payment tech media, and then OK. I'm typing the administrator account and the uh, password on the server. Okay, we can see welcome to paymonttechmedia.com domain. 
So this is how we can join one computer to a domain controller. Click OK. OK, one more time and we have to restart. Click close and restart now. OK, now here we have other user accounts. So if I use Paymon and log in, this is local account. If I say other and type administrator, you see as soon as I type the R, I want you to pay attention here. You see this is sign into Paymon Tech Media, right? But if I say administrator, as soon as I type R, it will change it to PC1. It's basically assuming that we want to log in using local admin account. But we don't want to log in using local admin account. We want to log in using domain administrator account. So we can enforce that by simply typing the domain name in front of the administrator or simply using the UPN at paymontechmedia.com and typing the password. You see how it did change to Paymon Tech Media. Or let's go ahead and clear this and type Paymon Tech Media backslash administrator and then typing the password. So we can use the UPN name, typing the password, or simply this way, typing domain name backslash administrator. It's basically emphasizing we want to use domain administrator account. Two different things, local administrator account, the scope of local computer access, domain administrator account, you have the access of the entire domain with the admin power. And if I use Paymon and login, that's the local account on this virtual machine. In this case, Paymon Tech Media backslash administrator, typing the password, okay. That's an example of logging using domain admin account. Okay, let's see if I open up command prompts. Okay, host name to see the computer name, PC1. Who am I? Who we logged in as? Logged in using domain administrator account on this Windows 10 virtual machine. And on a server, if I go full screen, if I open up the DNS server, start server manager, and then tools, DNS, let's minimize server manager window. Here we can see under our server, the forward lookup zone, Paymon Tech Media, PC1 added. So when we join PC1 to the domain controller, automatically it did create a record. So from here, from server, I should be able to ping PC1, pinging PC1 by name. So it's probably because of the firewall, uh, request timed out, the network discovery on a domain. So let's take a look, control F to exit from full screen, going to our Windows 10. Let's open network and sharing center. and then change advanced sharing. So here we can see on the domain, this one, domain, turn on network discovery and file print sharing. Save changes, we can close, close. Going back to the server, let's go full screen, control F, switch. Okay, so now if I press up arrow, ping PC1, it's resolving name to IP address. Well, this was an example of how to join one virtual machine to a domain controller. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. And to see more tech videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a good day.